I am with Candy today. Once again, everybody loves Candy. They they make requests that we should do, we should watch this movie next and that movie next. Did you see that Candy that people are requesting you now? Name funny. of the movie we're discussing today. Bajaro Ma Mastani. Did I say that right? I you, think so. Bajaro Mastani. Yeah. Bajaro Mastani. And it's another like time period piece, which I love. I love the time period pieces. I, I do too. They're probably my favorites. Don't you think? I, I agree. Absolutely. There. I mean, it just, it just, I mean, I think like it shares a lot of like, you know, this, the history of the culture mm -hmm. and the traditions. And I mean, I, I think I enjoy them more than the, you know, modern yeah. when you first started watching it you messaged me and the first thing you said was oh my gosh he is so hot <laughs> Did you can't date yeah then that's the first thing when i started watching this movie i was thinking i was like oh he is good looking and he's out there he's fighting with people with his swords and and all that stuff i was like Whoo! Are, are some of the scenes like done with cgi or do they have all of those people there you know i bet if i would guess if i would guess i would say they have all the people there but i'm sure some of it's done with cgi especially when they doing some moves and they flying in the air and what about when he's riding on the horse and someone tries to shoot the arrow at him? And Remember he, that? And he catches it! It's like, I guess maybe the emperor or something. And he goes in there and they're trying to test test people for some special position. The Peshwa position. The Peshwa position. What's yeah. a Peshwa? <laughs> Do you know what a Peshwa so is? At first I thought it was like a religious leader. But yeah, I want to say it's probably like the head of the army. It seems that's what it was. And he tested for that position, and he got it because I was like, oh, right? They were like, cut this oh, in half. And he did it right there. And I was like, oh, smart. Smart. Yeah. So right there, you're like, he's he should have that position. A love interest, right? Because she was over there just clapping for him. And I guess they yeah. were already married at that time. They were already yeah. married, right? She's yeah. clapping. And, and you know who that is, right? Yes, it's Priyanka Chopra. You know who she is, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Married yeah, to Nick is. Jonas. Uh-huh. Uh, she actually took his last name, too, which I thought was really cool. Really? So she's Chopra Jonas now. So she hyphenates. Yep, she hyphenated it. He becomes the Peshwa. The Peshwa. He becomes mm -hmm. the Peshwa. And then next thing you know, he's out trying to conquer all these places, right? He's right. conquering. He's conquering the world. He's conquering this and he's conquering that. And he's up in his tent. You know, just eating his orange or whatever he was doing, right? Yeah. And then here comes this fighter up in there. And I knew right at that moment, I was like, that's a girl. Did you? Mm, no, I might not have been paying 100% attention. So I didn't realize that it was a girl. I figured it just by the movements and the build. I was like, that's a girl, I bet. Mm -hmm. But he sure didn't move. Like she was in there fighting them all, beating them all up. And he sure just stayed right there and didn't even move, didn't he? Right. That, Cause that's what Peshwas do. <laughs> they ain't afraid. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's not afraid. He's all powerful. And is she not beautiful? Oh my gosh, so beautiful. She's so the beautiful. Peshwa, but Bajaro. Mm -hmm. His name is Ranbir Singh. Then you had what we said. Piyan what what the uh, Chopra, right? What how do you say her name again? P Ashi, Priyanka. Priyanka. Priyanka is Chopra. Her is her name listed as Priyanka Chopra? Yeah, it's not listed as the Jonas. And then yeah, then okay. the girl who plays Mastani is the Pika Padia can we just call her Padika? <laughs> the Pika. The Pika. She's just as beautiful. She is so oh, yeah. beautiful. And when like and this is one thing I was thinking, because you were talking about um, the other girl married to Nick Jonas, I, I looked at pictures of them together. Like after I watched this movie and stuff, I'm just like, she is so beautiful. And I looked at pictures and I'm going to say it, Candy. That Nick Jonas, I don't know what she saw in him <laughs> because you see them together and she's just this beautiful, like, 
uh, exotic, you know, just the mo one of just uh, the definition of beauty. And then yeah. she's standing next to him, looking just like a goofy little. <laughs> No, you can just tell that they are in love. She has to be <laughs> because he's goofy looking and she could probably have anybody in the world she wants. <laughs> yeah, she's actually very good friends with Meghan Markle. Oh, I didn't the know. The Duchess of... I did not know that. What is she, the Duchess of Sussex? Well, she's the or princess. Dwarf? I don't know. She's, One of princess. The... she's not a princess. She's a duchess. She's not a princess? Was she at the wedding? I wonder if she was at the yes. wedding. <gasps> she was at the yes. wedding? Oh! <laughs> I yes, didn't know this. yes, she was at the wedding. That was like one of the things when they were walking, you know, when everybody was walking to the, uh, to the, um, I guess to the chapel, uh -huh. uh, you know, they're like, oh, there's Priyanka Chopra. There's her best friend. There's her best friend. Oh, she, was she oh, with that God. goofy Nick Jonas? <laughs> Majaro? Uh -huh. I would have chose the Dibika. <laughs> Really? <laughs> really, you wouldn't in this mean, movie. And if he had to choose, like you were team, you were team Priyanka. I was team Pashi. I was really. Team the whole time. Oh, yeah, see, I was team Mast. I was the opposite. Okay, let's get started. But let's talk about it because she comes in there and they're fighting and stuff, and she begs him, you know, to come and fight for her. Her right. what? What is it like? The it's not country. Is it a country? No, I wouldn't say it's a country. She had to fight for their, their. Robin? She she begged him to come, and he was like, "Okay." Like he sure yeah. gave into that fast, though, didn't he? He's like, "All right, uh, let's do it," because he, he was I overcome think, with the. I beauty. think he was taken by her beauty and by her strength. And yeah, her skills too, because like having that was like the double thing. Having you know, she first come in and she's fighting and beating all these guys, and then the, the, the thing comes off and it's this beautiful woman. He's like, "All right, let's do it." She gets wounded. By she him, right? Because she's died. like, I, at first, though, I'm thinking she died. I, I mean, it, that would have been the end of the movie. I know. <laughs> He's like running back to the to the castle or whatever it is, the the where the wall, and and she's on the horse, and he's trying to save her and everything. And he gives her her sword. Oh, look, he gets they're married now. <laughs> How long did it take you to? That easy? <laughs> she was like, "Am I? Am I? Like, if you give me your sword, we're married. So whoever gives the man gives, it, and I accepted your sword, we're married." I was like, "You married without even an I do from him?" <laughs> right? Exactly. She's like, and she and she was like, "We are bound, buddy." Yeah, bound. And she wasn't giving that up, was she? No. She was not. She was like, she was, even after he left, he's like, I got to go home. I'm the Peshwa. I got, I got business to handle. I got responsibilities. I got, you know, we got more wars to fight, all this stuff. And I she's, and she just going to show up. She just got to show up. Like, well, we, look, I'm your wife. I'm showing up. And even like, I would think her dad would at least like try to talk her out of it. He didn't, did he? Uh -uh. She just showed up in that box, girl. How did you carry her? <laughs> I feel like though he didn't like give in right away. She's like, "We're we're married now." He's like, "All right, well, zippity doo dah. I gotta go home." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you can keep the yeah, sword. You can keep it. right. No, he did. He and then he went back, and then he. I just think I love this scene though. Even though I was Team Mastani, is that how you say Mastani? Mm -hmm. When he returns home and his wife is waiting there and he pours the water over her head. <laughs> Candy, I was like, I was like, I was telling my husband, my husband, why don't you pour water on my head? <laughs> that was a sultry, sultry scene for sure. Wasn't it? I was like, no, he didn't just pull that water on her head. <laughs> and then he had like that. It was like a like a paste or something or like paint. Oh yeah, that? that he put up. I don't know what that was about, but listen, listen, I liked it. <laughs> you know, further along in the story, he talks about how she's his first wife, mm -hmm. and you know that she's his best friend and his confidant. And it's like, I mean, it's like, you know, I get it. You know, he, he respects her. He loves her. He loves her in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, you know, like we talked about the relationship, how the relationship grows with Mastani. Um, 
I mean, that it becomes a forbidden love. Because that Mastani sure fought for him. Did she not? She did. She, did. she was she like, really no, did. you my husband. You gave me your sword. You my man now. You are yeah. my man now. You gave me your sword. And the other one, his wife just sat by and just, because when she going to come in, right, she came in in the box. The mom's like, well, you just go like put her up in the, in the, the prostitute house or something. Didn't she like, she put her up in the house, like, just go away, go away. And right. she was like, not, she was fighting. She was like, no, I'm going to go and dance for him and all this. And when she went in and that, did that little dance. Oh, and man. the wife was That's there. Amazing. She was watching. Wasn't she? She was there watching yeah. that dance. Yeah. Right then, yeah. I would have stood up. I'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> you get on out of here with your dances. You get on out of here. That's my man. Uh-uh. <laughs> I would take him. I'd be like, I'm going to go give you a dance. I'm going to go give you a dance. You got to, like, some girl come out. You got you to gotta stand up. You got to fight for your man. I and I feel I like guess. she didn't. Well, I mean, on one end, you know, that's our natural, natural reaction. We're going to be like, oh, no, I don't think so. But it's like the restraint that Kashi had, like, because of the fact that she respected his position, she respected him as her husband, and she respected their home. That was, I thought that was super, super powerful on um, Priyanka's, uh, from in, in her character, you know? Like, she held back a lot. He fought, I think, Mastati for a long time and then he finally yeah. just gave in right because she was yeah. still dancing he was still saying that's my wife that's my wife and then finally he was just like all right too much you got yeah. me <laughs> once Kashi kind of found out sh about the other one yeah. she was pretty much done with him she was like yeah wasn't she she was like no yeah. no more like we're gonna be married this is like I'm in your house and all this but they wasn't they wasn't gonna have a second kid I bet I bet that because <laughs> she was like done she was like uh uh but yeah they had their kids and and he just wanted to go live the life and when everybody accepted like yeah i have two wives yes. just accept it right and right. pretty much they had to accept well the brothers were against it everybody was against everybody the mom I mean, was really against it oh, the brothers God, were against mom. it right they all were she started to accept her a little bit especially when they had that little dance thing together. Yes. It was a holiday. I forget what it's called, uh -huh. but it's the holiday where they honor their husbands. Yeah. Or their husband. And so she brings her the sari and she's like, you know, wear this. And, and they were and smiling at each other and they was dancing. So, okay. So here's a question. Did you, when, when the songs come on, did you realize that they were like, throwing shots at each other in the in the songs when they during that scene no I didn't yeah so I didn't it was maybe the first or second song that I realized oh my gosh I need to be reading these subtitles the songs what were they what was the shade they was throwing back and forth at each other so one was okay so Priyanka starts mm -hmm. and she starts talking about how you know you came in and you she one of these was you came in and <clears throat> pretty much you stole my man looking like the moon and then she um Mastani replies and says well you know you just can't so, something along the lines of like well you just can't fight love like true love and so she's like you know they're throwing it in each other's face but it's so funny because the whole time they're like, you know, dancing and, then and they're, they're smiling, like smiling. <laughs> oh, yeah. and they look like they're being, you know, they're being cordial and they're being friendly. So, so after that song and stuff, she saved her too. So that's why I thought like she was really accepted because not only they did that little song and dance for like that one guy came up and was like, they're going to kill her. Right. Right. And then th like she went and you, you were wondering, you're like, what is she going to do? What is she going to do? Because she. She is Mastani not. She was holding her baby, fighting off these guys. She was holding that baby the whole time he was sleeping. And she, that's, my girl's got skills. My girl's got skills. She was fighting she these guys and holding her baby and stuff. But you were wondering, you were like, is she going to tell him or not? Is she just going to let it happen? Like you were wondering. And then when he shows she, up, I felt started to accept her a little bit. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think <clears throat> to a certain extent, she had to pretty much just kind of give up like, hey, 
this woman is going to be in their life no matter what. I mean, mm-hmm. she has a child with him now. Yeah. You know? And then, and then he leaves and goes off to war. Oh, my gosh. And the minute he steps out those gates. <laughs> they, like, put her in town. I don't understand. Like, you know, every time he wrote a note, they burned it. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, you know, like, why wasn't there anyone else in place to, you know, to be her... To be her, not not her. Or at class, least, but, I mean, like she's been voice. she's been at war with him before. At least he can bring him along or something, you know. Like well, I wouldn't have trust none of those people with her. Exactly, I was just stunned that he would just leave her like that. Mm-hmm. That was the craziest part of the whole movie. It the, was the end because it he found out was. about number one. He found out about it. Then he just went crazy. What was that sword he had that was bendable? Did you see, you You know, I, w- I was like, is that a ribbon? But it was a sword. And he's just going off there and it's like bending and he's just killing everybody with it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that was, but it was like a big, long piece of steel. And yeah. it was like, you know, like a ribbon. But uh-huh. it was steel. So he's yeah. laying in the bed, dying with the fever, can't see it. Like, and then Kashi comes to try to save him. Right. Or like nurse him back to health, whatever. And she walks in and he thinks it and he calls him Astani. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that was probably like the final dagger in her heart. I know. know, but still, she still tried to, even after that, she still tried she to save him. And she was like t- talking to mom, like, we got to release her. You know, exactly. that's the only things that's going to be. Well, first he goes crazy and he starts seeing things and goes in the water with that sword. And stuff. like, what is he doing? Yeah. But then it, it goes back when he get, gave her that little, you know, goodbye, you know, message when he's going off to war and, when the leaves right. the leaves blow and then the leaves start blowing and the and the sky turns orange and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. and and then they both die. It's like die. he knew. It's like he knew. It was incredible. Yeah, that was a perfect ending. I mean, you I feel bad so. for Posse, and then you wonder. I was wondering. I was like, so what happens to the little boy? What happens to the love? Yeah, child? we need a a, a part two. <laughs> we need to know what happens after this. We need to know what happens to the boy, what happens to the brother, you know, the, the, what happens even to the family, because he was the Peshwa. Overall, I definitely give this movie, that's why I was like, because you had, it wasn't on Netflix, you had to do a little trial to watch it, but I was like, Candy is worth it, because this movie, I thought was incredible. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. Be- like it was filmed beautifully, the cinematography beautiful, the acting yeah. on point. You know, yeah. the music, the the cost, just everything, the story, just everything. everything about it, I loved everything. So that's why I was urging you, I was like, you have to watch this. It was, yeah, it was fantastic. The colors, mm-hmm. the, I mean, the scenery, just, I mean, everything. It was incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, the choreography from the, the dance scene. Yeah. I mean, just so many people in those scenes, you know, mm-hmm. it's incredible. And we love doing this, don't we? It's fun. Yeah. And I'm so glad I have a uh, someone here in the States that's my Bollywood watching, my Bollywood movie watching partner. It's nice Yay. to have a Bollywood movie watching partner. Thanks for having me, Amanda. <laughs> and until next time. Bye. Bye. Y'all.